Well, last week we introduced you to an abortion doctor who works at a clinic in McAllen. Tonight, a doctor who is against abortion speaks out. Yeah, he supports the Texas bill to restrict the practice, but wants it banned altogether. Dr. Juan Campos has been a physician in McAllen for 38 years and still sees patients at his office, the Masters Clinic off Main Street. About 10 years ago, another clinic opened up right next door. He's made it his mission to make the employees and clients there very uncomfortable. I am pro-life. Dr. Campos has delivered more than 8,000 babies in his career and says the whole woman's health clinic represents everything he is against. I'm very passionate about children. I have four grandchildren right now and so it's a uh you know, it's terrible what, what they do. If you ask his patients about his bedside manner, they are sure to give him rave reviews, but his neighbors are probably not happy about the signs posted on the exterior wall of his clinic pointing out exactly where abortions occur. Pro-choice advocates have expressed their disdain. I've had three occasions some, where somebody threw rocks in my windows and broke my windows. But that didn't discourage him. We don't let him park in our parking lots, my, my brother next door also and doctor uh, across the street as well he don't like let them so they have to go somewhere else I'm trying to push them out it's not right for them to do what they're doing only a fence physically separates the two institutions on that side the abortion clinic over here the anti-abortion clinic and dr campo says if women accidentally end up in his office he tries to change their mind it's an opportunity mm -hmm. we, to stop them yeah, we, we, we actually get the people protesting over there to come in and take them to the other place, okay, to help them not abort. Dr. Campos stands behind the bill that requires doctors to have admitting privileges at nearby hospitals, only allow abortions in surgical centers, and ban abortions after 20 weeks. He anticipates its full passage on Friday and wants the people on the other side of the fence out. And close it down regardless if they pass a law or not. If I am going to go to heaven and they're going to tell me, what did you do for our children? It's going to be a, a terrible thing to say, well, I didn't do nothing. I didn't want to get involved. Well, when we spoke to administrators at Whole Woman's Health Clinic last week, they said if the bill passes, they may be forced to shut down and women seeking abortions would have to travel outside of the valley for care. I first posted this story on my Facebook page and Twitter today. People are already sounding off. Join the conversation now at Facebook.com slash Action4NewsMarcy. And on Twitter at MarcyKGBT, I'm online ready to reply.